Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 6 on if statements. We can use the if statement to run a block of code conditionally. We can write a condition using the comparison operators and logical operators. These are already explained in the previous videos. We don't need braces to create a block of code. In Python, the block of code is formed by simply indenting it by a few spaces. A minimum of one space, but usually four spaces are used for better readability. In Python, the if statement comes in three different formats. The simplest format is if followed by a condition, followed by a colon and the block of code. Now the condition value is found. If the condition is true, the block of code is executed. If the condition is false, then nothing happens. Now let us see an example which finds if a name is more than four letters. The logic will be first start, then enter the name, then check if the name is more than five letters. If yes, display the name, display the length of the name and stop. If name is not more than five letters, then it does nothing but simply stops. Now let us see the Python code for this. So I already have a script here and this is a very simple script. On line four, it asks for the name using the input function. It says, please enter your name then we have the if statement. Now in the if statement, we have the condition, which is len of name greater than five. And if the condition is true, it will execute this block of code, which is print the name is name and the length is le the len of name. Now I'm going to run it by pressing the function key F5. So it says, please enter your name. This is coming from the input function. So if I enter some name, it says the name is Abraham and the length is seven. So the if block has been run. Now let me run it one more time and this time I'm going to give a different name and here the length is four which is not more than five letters so nothing happens. Now let us go back and see the second format of the if statement. The second format of the if statement is if followed by a condition colon then block one of code is if will be run if the condition is true this is followed by else colon and block two of code if the condition is true block one of code will be run if the condition is false block two of code will be run now let us see the example of this format in python I already have a script for showing if else. And it's the same script as a previous script, but this time it has been modified to include the else block also. So it says name, please enter your name. Then it prints a name. Then it checks the condition. If len of name greater than five. If it is greater than five, it prints the length is more than five letters. Else it prints the length is less than or equal to five letters. So depending on the condition, the if block will be run or the else block will be run. Now let me run it. 
so please enter your name I'm going to enter some name now here it is more than five letters so it correctly says the length is more than five letters let me run this script you one more time to execute the else block and this time I'm going to enter a name which is not more than five letters so the else block is run and it says the length is less than or equal to five letters now let us see the last format of the if statement here we have if followed by a condition colon the if block of code then we have elif meaning else if and after else if we can give some other condition and if condition 2 is true then block 2 of code is run there can be multiple elifs in the if statement if none of the preceding conditions is true then the else block of code block 3 is run now let us see the example of this format in python so here i have already written an interesting script which is to find out the day of the week so first we have the import statement in python we have the standard library and this library has a lot of already built-in functions that we can use so date time is one of the modules so we write import date time we'll see the import statement later on also and here in date time the weekday function gives us which day of the week is today if it is Monday then it gives us 0 Tuesday 1 and so on until Sunday is 6 then we have the print statement and it prints have a happy now by default the print function ends the print with a new line which means that it prints it on a single line and then the cursor moves to the next line but we can change the end so what I don't, what don't want is the next print to print on a different line I want the pr next print to print on the same line so we already have found out what is the current day and if it is Monday it's gonna be 0 if it is Tuesday 1 Wednesday 2 and so on and here we have the complete if statement now the first condition is if current day is equal to 0 which means it is Monday so it's going to print Monday then we have the elif and the condition following elif is if current day is 1 then it's going to print Tuesday and so on if none of the previous conditions is true then it just executes the else block and it's just going to print day so hopefully this will never happen now let us run it by pressing the function key f5 so it says have a happy Friday and let us check it is actually Friday today that is all in this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial